forever, baby. Mwah. I love you. Good morning. Don't forget to brush. Uh -oh. Oh. Impressive. Damn, that motherfucker fat. Mm, give me some. Mm, mm. Oh, you like that, huh? Oh, you giggling. Oh, you like to give me some. Mm, how you like? Smell like a chicken wing. That's animal cruelty. So I went to the beach by myself. And bitch, guess what? Someone don't like loner. I'm like, bitch, fuck you. Less issues over here. Hmm, fuck you mean. I'm single as of yesterday. So you had a man before yesterday? For two years. Appointment come in. Well, My best friend. You were friends with this guy while you were dating your, your boyfriend? I've been friends with him before I knew my ex, I guess not. Two fucking days and she already got a dick appointment. She already going to get dug out, homie. This is why I tell you motherfuckers, when your girl breaks up with you, this, your chick had already broken up with you months to fucking years prior in her goddamn head. So they can move on just like this. Then you made the bitches be out here, you can't move on. Oh, she, 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 I still miss her, I still love her. She don't love you anymore, bro. When your girl breaks up with you, you need to move on. That's what some men don't understand. They'll sit there and fucking want to hurt themselves over this shit. Oh, she, she went with the next guy in a week. It's because she don't love you anymore, homie. This is why I tell you motherfuckers, find a mission, find a purpose, and go after that shit every single fucking day. So when this shit happens, you're fucking ready. So many men just fucking curl up in a ball and go fucking... <laughs> No, dude! Get the fucking work, man! Your future is everything! Every you, The value that you are creating right now is everything. Every decision you make from now to the fucking future is, is going to make a massive impact on who you- I really like this guy. He's got some real energy. He's speaking some real truths. You guys, you gotta build your life up. No matter if she's here, there, came and went, whatever. It doesn't shake you. You're a man. You built your garden. Them butterflies keep coming. It's nothing. Let them go. And a woman could never love a man that she doesn't respect. If you can sense disrespect, if you've been disrespected multiple times, you know what it is. It's a ticking time bomb. You might as well leave. She's going to leave you. Ashley, look at me. Sick ass fool. Those ain't crocs, those are fucking gators, homie. Fucking crocs are suffocating, homie. They can't even breathe, fool. I'ma call fucking Pete on your ass. <laughs> fucking chocolate stuff, gator tots. Crocs got a fucking extended clip, homie. <laughs> crocs are on life support, fool. The big homie Grim is. Those fucking crocs are under more pressure than a skunk up backstage at an MB Writers concert in Moldance Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Caterpillar Bentley Caterpillar Caterpillar Which one you taking? The Bentley or the cat? Or the blonde or the brunette? You let us know. No one's gonna fucking come to help me. No one's gonna fucking come to help me. It's, it's fucking me against me, period. And um, so I had to man up. And I said, the first thing I start doing is facing every fucking fear I have. No matter what the fuck it is, man. Well, somebody's been to prison. Do you think you would go on a second date? I'd be down. I'd be down. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you want my number? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't have uh, my phone. I'll give you. Yeah. Yeah. You have an Android? It was at this moment that he knew 
he fucked up. Yes. An android. Never mind. I can't do this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> because I have an android? <laughs> Wait, what? I ain't saying I'm a catch, but I can make perfect Kraft macaroni even after I throw the box away. That's bull Also, we don't care. Gang gang, gang gang. Thank you, Maya. Thank you, Leah. I got your name. Ice cream so yum. Ice cream so yum. Shut up, bitch. Ice cream so oh, ice cream so bro, shut up, bro. Turn this off, please. gonna stink sometimes it is what it is not only do i want it to stink i'm disappointed when it doesn't what every now and again you encounter a lady who has no scent coming off of her piss mint and that might be because you have a team of chemists working on your giner biome and good for you the ph balance is on point but personally i like when it's got a little twang to it 11 herbs and spices that i can't quite pinpoint i want to scratch my nose when i leave in the morning and get flashbacks from last night's escapades what the fuck if your coochie's got a brand rock that shit and follow me you fucking idiots the first step in being a man is ignoring the hunger because yes boy you're gonna be starving starved of attention starved of affirmation starved of love starved of being told that you are enough step two in being a man is comfortability with replaceability you are only as good as you are useful you are only as valuable as you are needed by others should there ever come a day boy where you fail to provide everybody with a smiling face then do not be surprised when they say all men do is take up space and you are swiftly replaced step three in being a man is over Overcoming your fear of the fire, because almost everything you will ever try to build will go up in flames. Relationships, careers, hobbies, and yes, you are always to blame. Yeah, guys, you know, the world could be a cold place, but don't worry about it. You know, the bottom line is you're either going to play the game or you're going to fold, and it's going to be a lot easier to sacrifice like five years of your life to become a real man and to say, fuck it, this is what it is, and then live the rest of your life then suffer for the rest of your life because you didn't step up to the plate and just handle what you had to so you know i've been there it sucks it is what it is it is a little unfair but that's the game we're in born in another country would be way worse so count your blessings because you got plenty around and handle it it is what it is let's do it you can fucking use me as a fuck doll the whole day and like literally fuck my throat until i can't breathe but then i want to be cuddled like a baby after stop it Get some help. Dad, uh, when he got sober, I said, Dad, are you going to stay sober the rest of your life? And he, this is where the power of one more comes in. My dad says, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I can tell you this. I'm going to stay sober for one more day. And so when I went through that, my dad called me. I was really broke. My dad goes, you thinking about quitting? And I go, yeah, I'm close. He goes, just don't quit for one more day. He's so wise. And um, I didn't. And that not quitting for one more day and holding on would go to the next day and to the next day. But there were these glimpses in my life where it's like, you know what? I may not be the smartest or the best talker. I definitely don't have the highest IQ. I'm not the tallest dude or the strongest dude or the best looking dude or any of that. But um, I'm not gonna get outworked. I'm gonna outwork you. I'm gonna do one more rep in the gym. I'm gonna do one more phone call. I'm gonna do one more email. I'm gonna do one more text. I'm telling you guys, a lot of my attitude is the do one more too. I could be hungry as fuck. I will not stop doing shit. I'll do one more, I'll do one more. Before you know it, I did so much shit. I wanted to quit so long ago. The do one more is a big ass thing. You know, and, and business especially, it's surviving the times. So, you know, when you're at the when you're at your breaking point, that just one more day, just one more day, one day at a time could really bring you a long way. And another big thing about it is that every time you reach your breaking point and take a take a break, you build your stamina and your breaking point gets further down the road. You know, a year of pushing yourself to your breaking point and stopping and then pushing yourself and stopping will have your stamina and have your breaking point at a whole new place. So look at it as an opportunity of growth, not like a crippling situation for you. I had to turn it into Netflix and dump. Depression is your body saying, fuck you, I don't want to be this character anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hold up this, 
this avatar that you've created in the world is too much for me. Deep rest. Your body needs to be depressed. It needs deep rest from the character that you've been trying to play. I just, I don't understand it. What do you mean, sir? Well, when I go to the doctor's office, I don't extract my own blood. The nurse does it. I understand what you're saying, but this is a sperm bank. We don't work that way here. Lord have mercy. Man, when I was like 20, I had a boat like this. It was a full stringer 74 eliminator with a blown big block in the back of that bitch. This fool got what looks to be a V-drive pickle fork. Damn, I got to buy me one of these. Man, fun time, but they dangerous as hell. I take someone on this boat. One time, they never gone it ever again. All right, y'all. Let's see what I got for you today. You know, I want to talk to y'all about planning. A large portion of my life, I plan it. Like everything, my day, my week, a month, a year, five years, you know, and I write these plans down. So when I plan for like a week, you know, I can structure my day. And when I plan for a day, I can really effectively get a lot of things done. And when I go to work, the whole time I'm thinking, it's going to be fun. We're going to get hella shit done. This is what we're going to do. It's going to be a great day and stuff like that. And subsequently, I usually always have a really good day. So um, I think that, you know, structuring your life is extremely important. I'm not really sure how many people plan their whole life, but I think that that's really where I want to touch on today is that if you haven't really thought about your life, what your goals are, what you actually want to do, it's really hard to reach them. You really have to begin with the end in mind, which is something I've talked about uh, previously. But, you know, if you think about the end of your life, you know, what goals you want to accomplish, what you want to be proud of, these different things, it can help you structure the plan for your future. But it's really important to sit down with the pen and paper and write down what you want to accomplish, what you want to do, and figure these things out for yourself. If you don't have a plan, if you don't have a map, then how can you reach the destination? And that, I think, can sometimes be the problem. So, um, you know, as men, we have to have purpose, we have to have direction, so we have to structure that for ourselves. All right, guys, make a plan, whether it's for today, tomorrow, or forever. Please like, share, and subscribe. We're going to see you on the next one.